Welcome to the God Culture. We've got another short one for you, and we want to just get right to it. We have found ancient maps that prove that Cebu is Sheba. Now, we've covered some of these, but we're going to show you some new ones that we found. They're not new maps. They're very ancient maps, but they are new to us. So we're going to show you a few that will blow your mind. But first, just a quick review. We've shown this map before. Ancient maps have shown Cebu, spelled with an S, S-E-B-O-E-Z. Z-U-B-U -E was what Pigafetta called it in his journal, or Z-Z-U-B-U, and Z-E-B-U also in other maps. Now we've seen this pretty consistently, and we've seen it in tons of maps. We could spend a good video just on all the different maps. We're not going to go through all of them because we've covered a lot of them throughout the series. But we want to just drill this down a little and really tie all this together and wrap it up just as we've done with some other things here recently. Because we want to prove things as thoroughly as we possibly can. Now the origin of Cebu with the S or the Z, okay, is the same as the word Sheba. Now we prove this out, but we'll go through it a little in this video and show you exactly how we could possibly arrive at such a stretch. No, not a stretch at all. It's actually a derivative. Sheba is a derivative of Shabuah, and we'll show you. It is very, very clear. Hebrew is really not that difficult to understand when it comes to variants. So one of the things that we want to mention, we have yet to find on any map, anywhere in all of history, that Cebu was ever recorded as Sugbu, S-U-G-B-U, ever. We just haven't found it. Now I know there are some linguists, if you go out and you look it up, especially in Wikipedia and some other sources like that, it's generally accepted by academia that that is the origin of the word Cebu. But frankly, they never ever tie it together. And in this video, we are going to tie the true origins of this word. It is Hebrew, and we'll show you, we'll prove it. Now look at the word Sheba at the bottom. It means oath or seven. And in Matthew 12, 42, Messiah calls the queen of Sheba the queen of the south. Now, Cebu just happens to be the queen city of the south. Now, Sheba also means seven. Oh, look at that. Cebu just so happens to be in region seven. Coincidence? We think not. But now this gets more intense. Check this out. Now here we have a map from 1765 that actually renders that island as Cebu, but spelled S-E-B-U. And then one from even 1906 that still renders it with a Z, not a C. See, the C is fairly new in history. It was an addition. The older maps show it with an S or a Z. That's no problem that it's been changed to Cebu with a C. Really not a problem, except for what it hides. See, by changing that to a C, it looks like a completely foreign word. But when the S is there, this is Hebrew. We'll show you. Now the largest one's coming, so hang in there. So when you look at this, the Hebrew root of the word Sebu, S-E-B-U, is Shabu, Shabua. It means an oath, week, seven. The very first Sabbath or really, it literally is 
Shavuot or Shabuo, which is the same word. It's actually the very same word, uh, which is the feast day of Yahuwah God that commemorates, and a lot of people do not know this, but it literally commemorates the very first Sabbath, which was where? In the land of creation. This is a tie to the land of creation. Now, this is the root word. And now we'll take you down the trail and we'll connect all of these together. So the word sabu means to take captive. It's also got a plural, sabuyim. And again, you see it on the map, letter for letter, actually. So it means to take captive. And a lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, take captive. Well, that's not the same as an oath uh, like shabua or sheba. So it's a different word. Wrong. It is a derivative. And when you think it out, when you make an oath with Yahuwah, God, he takes you captive. Now, in a positive sense, but that's how Hebrew derivatives work. So then we have the word Sheba, which means oath and seven. And we have the word Shabbat which also comes from this very same word. Why? Because the first Shabbat or Sabbath or Sabbat, these are all the very same word, just different ways to pronounce it really, is the first day of rest. It's the seventh day of the week, the day of rest every week, and it's Saturday in modern times. However, Shavuot commemorates the feast day commemorates the very first Sabbath that ever took place in the land of creation. So do you see how all of this is starting to come together a little? Oh, it's about to come together fully. Watch this. Now, check out this map we just came across from 1646, basically. This is amazing. Look at how they render Cebu. Notice, they don't even do Cebu, they do Saba or Sabat or Siba or Sheba. Sabat, wait a minute, didn't we just cover that? Sabat is Shabbat, Sabbath, the very seventh day of rest for mankind. The tie is absolutely, indisputably, right there under our noses, all of these, hundreds of years at least, and no one has pulled this together before, but we will. So here we have it. It all ties together. Subu, S-E-B-U, right there on the map, leads to Sheba, all the root of Shabuwa. Shabbat, Sabbat, Sabbath, just as pictured on the map. Both names are right there on the map, and they both lead to Sheba. This, etymologically speaking, is the very best possible match to Sheba on all of earth. And then you match all of the other ways that we tie Sheba in and we prove that it all comes together with Ophir, Sheba, Tarshish, Havila, the land of creation, the Garden of Eden. All of these things come right together. And see again, this is also another reference that comes full circle right around to the Garden of Eden and the land of creation itself where the very first Sabbath took place. Wow. And one last observation. I know in comments someone's gonna say this is our whole case. Let's not be stupid, okay? Now, have you looked at a map of the Philippines? Many have pointed out that it looks like the figure of a woman. Now here's the funny thing. 
When you look at it in that sense, with the arms being Palawan, the legs being the islands to the south, and uh, the head being Ophir with the crown, but the amazing thing is, where is Cebu? Well, it's right there where the rib would be. Could it be the rib of creation? Which is why it's named after Sabat and Shabua Sabu, the very first Sabbath in the land of creation itself? It could be. And that is something we'll continue to prove over time. Thank you for watching our Solomon's Gold series. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell. And check out our website at thegodculture.com. If anyone has questions and you wish to remain private, you're always welcome to email us at thegodculture at gmail.com. And now for a coming announcement for coming events. Yahuwah God bless. Announcing Restore Philippines. Do you know the Philippines is in the Bible? We prove it. Not just in Solomon's Gold series, but in these conferences, which have been very impactful. And we appreciate all the efforts of the many who have pulled off the former conferences. But the ones we're heading into are a bit larger. The next conference will be August 3rd in Montanlupa at the Montanlupa Sports Complex. Then we have Naga City to be announced as far as the actual location, but it is going to take place on September the 7th. We're going to be over in Bicol, Legazpi City, September the 8th on a Sunday. And then October the 19th, Saturday, we'll be at the Paranaque Sports Complex in Metro Manila. So four conferences that are all looking to be pretty large, and we're very pleased with that. We're hoping to continue to offer all of these free admission, bring your lunch or break at this point, and um, we will not be taking an offering. So these will be completely free to the public and those who are giving on Patreon, thank you for your support. Those who are praying, thank you for your support. Those who are supporting by sharing the videos, sending them to your friends, and everything that all of our viewers have done ever since the beginning. We thank you all so much, and we really look forward to this next wave of conferences indeed. Thank you, and Yahuwah God bless.